Hi student, today lecture 13, topic name, occupational disease caused by unfavorable physical, chemical, biological injuries, industrial factor, they are prevented. Industrial pollution has grown to be a problem of global proportion, serious enough to cause an immediate health hazard in some areas and lead to future economic growth. The pollution emission and resource requirements of industry are substantial. Industrial development is essential to combat poverty and improve the quality of life. Such development may lead to serious environmental pollution and occupational health hazards, however. Measures must be taken to prevent the health problem associated with industrial in development to avoid the kind of social and environmental destruction that occurred during the Industrial Revolution in Europe in the late 18th and 19th century. Early industrial sector are responsible for most raw material consumption and most pollution. This include food and agricultural processing, metal extraction and processing cement works, the pulp and paper industry, oil refining and the chemical industry. The degree to which development can be sustained is highly dependent on the following factor. The technology adopted, the enactment, enforcement, or the compliance with regulation and international treaties. In short, industrial pollution is inextricably linked to economic development, but in ways that are complicated and difficult to separate. The main injuries professional factor at the workplace, physical, chemical, biological. Physical, at the workplace or the worker organism can influence temperature, humidity, air pressure, velocity, noise, vibration, infrasound, ultrasound, and others. Chemical, organic and inorganic substance as dust, gases, germs, metals, biological, pathogenic microorganism, viruses, fungi. Physical injuries professional factor are also very common at websites. As with the chemicals found in industry, the physical agents occupy a wide spectrum. They range from the mechanical forces of vibration and atmospheric pressure Included this rapid change in atmosphere pressure that are perceived by the ear as noise, to segments of the electromagnetic spectrum, which range from radio waves and one end to radiant heat and visible and ultraviolet light, X rays and gamma radiation, and others. High or low atmosphere pressure at the vehicle. Barometric pressure above or below one atmosphere are part of the condition of work in special environment, such as underwater or at high altitude. The absolute pressure is usually less critical than the change experienced by the worker. The direct adverse effect of this pressure change are called barotrauma and are of particular interest in air space and aerodynamicity. There are also a number of problems that result from the dissolving of gases into body fluids, or conversely, the release of gases out of body fluids. Health problems associated with compression generally occur early when there is no way in equilibrium pressure in an enclosed space. The compression effect are more common and can be severe as a person emerges from a visceral environment. They occur when a diver returns to surface too quickly or when workers who are in compressed chambers, such as caisson, have been depressed too abruptly. All commercial and amateur divers are industrious in the use of diving tablets, a set of graphs tablets that provide guidelines for ascent after diving to a given depth and remaining there for a given period of time. Polar to adhere to 
closely to the established through a nation or during an emerger may result in potentially serious effects, including decompression sickness, a embolism, and aseptic necrosis of bone. Cason syndrome. The Cason is a simple large inverted box made to the dimension of a beach foundation, which typically is built in a dry dock and then floated into place. People working in the prehistoric Cason are exposed to compressed air and the experience may of the same physiological problem that face deep sea divers. Acute mountain sickness or arterial illness is a pathological condition that is caused by lack of adaptation to high altitude. The symptoms are headache, fatigue, shortness of breath, nausea, unsteadiness and dizziness, loss of appetite, insomnia, weakness, and sometimes even scissors and coma. Oxygen toxicity. Oxygen toxicity or oxygen toxicity syndrome is severe hyperoxia caused by breathing oxygen at elevated partial pressure. The high concentration of oxygen damaged cells. Oxygen toxicity syndrome may occur as a diving disorder when divers breathe and a breathing gas at the higher pressure of depth. High altitude pulmonary edema occurs in 2,000 of those who are adjusted to altitude of 10,000 feet or more. It can be life-threatening. Symptom, fatigue, dyspnea, headache, nausea, dry cough without flag, pulmonary edema, fluid retention in kidney, and rays. High altitude cerebral edema. It's a life-threatening condition that can lead to coma or death. It occurs in about 1% of people adjusted to a deep altitude of 2,000 feet. Symptom, headache, fatigue, visual impairment, bladder dysfunction, bowel dysfunction, loss of coordination, paralysis on one side of the body, confusion, and slow reflex response. Influence of the temperature at the vector organism. High and low temperature. Hazard associated with extremes of temperature can be divided into exposure to heat and exposure to cool. Problem arises when one of three conditions occur. Temperature variations are so extreme that they exceed the considerable ability of the body to adapt. Mechanism of adaptation, such as loss iteration or sweating, are impaired. Exposure to extremes of temperature is concentrated on a particular body part, as in frostbite or thermal damage. The human body regulates temperature through the central nervous system from a control center in the hypothalamus, a small structure in the center. The body regulates average temperature in the within a narrow range centered 37 degrees. Also, core temperature is maintained approximately constant. There is continuous variation in the heat flux needed to maintain this constancy in the body. Heat is generated by metabolic process and by work performed by the muscles. Heat is also taken into the body from the in the external temperature is one recall. Heat is lost to the environment by four means. Radiation from the surface of the skin, evaporation in the form of sweating, conduction by contact with the color surface, and convert carrying heated air away from the surface of the skin or excrete air from the lung. Could. Could is particularly dangerous because also reduce awareness of an injury. Temperature and air movement called wind chill severely affect and even kill a person who is properly protected. Both severe heat and food are particular hazard for the very young and very old. Local could damage result in frostbite, while could affect in the whole body result in hypothermia. Frostbite is a local freezing of tissue that may result in 
irreversible damage. Extremes such as fingers, toes, and the tips of ears and noses are particularly vulnerable. Impartial of affected area may be required in severe causes. Hypothermia is the condition of low body temperature. It's usually fatal if not recognized and treated by warming the patient. Extremes of heat can also have local or systematic effect. Local heat can result in death. Less extreme but prolonged heat result in systematic effect such as heat stress, a problem that is not limited to tropical climates or jobs involving proximity to a heat source. There are severe medical conditions that can develop as a result of heat stress, or the heat stroke is the most serious. This potential fatal condition occurs when the person can no longer adapt to a heat and collapses with failure of the circulation. It may occur in the workplace in jobs where exposure to intense heat is uncontrolled. Heat stroke is more common among people who are not used to heat and the most likely to occur during a caution heat waves, especially in city. The caution and extreme temperature can be serious. Heat in the workplace and general environment also has an overwork capacity. Traditional methods of caution in a cold country are largely effective in protecting against the hazard of extreme heat. House building method may require a or artificial cooling system, and when the system breaks down or cannot be afforded, people are at increased risk. Next, physical injurious professional factor at the workplace noise. Noise is a combination of sounds of a various frequency and intensity. Sound is a mechanical vibration of a resilience medium. Its frequency from 16 up to 20,000 Hz. Noise is by far the most widespread of occupational hazard and the high incidence of noise induced hearing loss worldwide demonstrates that it remains one of the most poorly controlled. Physical parameter of the noise. First, frequency. Three type of frequency of noise. Infrasound, head sound, ultrasound. Noise types. Low frequency, middle frequency, high frequency. Depending on the source of the noise, last divided into household, outdoor, and industrial. Very dangerous industrial noise. When you influence all the working organism at work place. Clinical presentation of noise effect on organism are directed as specific hearing change and non specific change of other organ and system. Specific result of noise effect on hearing function is the development of the occupational bladder cochlea and deafness. At the beginning of noise effect the hearing perceptibility, decrease may be observed. If the hearing receptibility decreases no more than 10-50 decibel and hearing is restored during 2-3 minutes, it's a temporary physiological adaptation. It's called hearing adaptation. However, when the effect of noise is prolonged, the adaptation ability is exhausted. Also, the period of restoration is becomes longer. It is an evidence of hearing function fatigue. Then, the chronic fatigue is transformed to the occupational bradycusia and deafness. The cause of permanent hearing disorders is an impairment of sound preventing apparatus of hearing organ, degenerative change in hair cells of spiral organ. Non specific. There are next clinical presentation or noise effect known as non specific. Central nervous system disorders like rapid fatigability, a weakening of memory, decrease of attention and concentration, loss of work capacity, heightened irritability. 
central venous system disorders like pulse rate change, reduction of intraventricular conduction, depression of heat electric conduction, constriction of peripheric vessels, blood pressure increase. Respiratory system disorders like respiration rate and intensity. Organ of sense and eyesight disorders like weakening of twilight vision, perceptible change to a different part of spectrum light. Vestibular apparatus disorders like garish and steadiness and others. The gastric system disorders like depression of gastric juices secretion, gastric and intestinal peristalsis decrease. Endocrine blood disorders, metabolic disorders, blood system and others is this also non-specific effect if you influence over worker organism noise. Noise at a workplace causes development of occupational disease, noise disease. Characteristic future of noise disease is disorders of asthenovegetative and asthenoneurotic syndrome. Development of this syndrome precedes the hearing function impairment. In 1976, over more than 14 million industrial workers exposed to noise in the USA, production industries. 30% were exposed to noise of 85-90 decibel, 30% to level higher than 90 decibel, and 30% to level lower than 85 decibel. The percentage of worker whose hearing is permanently impaired double as we exposure to noise increase from 80-85 decibel and double again from 85-90 decibel. The occupational safety and health administration permits in upper limit of 90 decibel and has proposed a reduction to 85 which would bring at least 70% of me exposed workers under mandatory protection. The change has been strongly opposed by industry on economic grounds. Noise also produce effect beyond reduction of hearing ability. As in any environment, noise at work fosters stress. It heightens tension, adds to fatigue, interferes with concentration, makes communication difficult, and in general detracts from the quality of life. In an office, noise distraction can produce stress without inducing hearing loss. Masking system have been instituted in some work environments. Called white or pink noise, the making sound resembles a sustained piece. The system were designed to eliminate distracting noise by covering the mouth. However, the long-term effect of the making sound are not yet. Use of individual protection equipment as ear mode, isolation of the workplace from the noise, using soundproofing material in the building industry, health education, a regular medical examination, regular control of the noise level, frequency and intensity, regular control of the blood pressure before and after work, check the pulse during the work day. Deflection. Vibration is a periodical deflection of a solid body from its balance, or in other words, vibration is a mechanical oscillation of elastic body. Type of vibration exposure, total, segmental, vibration effect, local and general. Type of vibration, low frequency, medium frequency, and high frequency. About 6 million USA workers are exposed to some form of vibration. According to the Earth Health Organization date, vibration disease in the Czech Republic, 8.8%. In Bulgaria, 6.8%. In Hungary, 6%. They are less prevalent in a Western country. 
completion. For example, 0.2% of occupational disease, vibration disease in Finland, and 2.4% in Germany. This probably indicates the positive impact of modern ad hand tools and the introduction of fully mechanized draining machines for such was as meaning and wiring. The scientific basis for standard setting is how well still activity debated. Nevertheless, there is a wide agreement that the duration and level of exposure to vibration should be reduced to the minimum. Types of vibration exposure divided into groups. Total, named as hell body vibration, and segmental, arm high, named as hand arm vibration. Hell body vibration, not much is now about the chronic health effect of hell body vibration. Also, it may be considered to induce stress. At some frequency, the human body may be in resonance with the vibration, thus amplifying it. When the body is resonance, it's thought to be most susceptible to a vibration effect. Hell body vibration can cause an increase in oxygen consumption, increased breathing, and short burst of rapid heat rate. People exposed to intense low frequency vibration occasionally feel unstable. The long term health effects of hell body vibration have been alleged to include injury to the bone structure, gastrointestinal tract problem, varicose veins, enlargement of scotal veins, and pain. Workers also report a weakness, loss of appetite, nausea, and irritability. Occupations where workers may be at risk to a hell body vibration include truck drivers and terminal workers. Farm vessels and tractor operation, intercity and local bus drivers, heavy equipment operators, foundry workers, metal stamping operators, and others. Segmental vibration. The most pronounced effect of hand arm vibration is Rounds phenomenon or vibration white finger, an episodic disturbance of blood flow in the finger. The first symptom of vibration white finger is both of blanching of the finger. This become more frequency, longer, and more severe as the disease progress. Other effects are numbness and some loss of muscle control and reduction of sensitivity to heat, cold, and pain. Eventually, the person with Vibration white finger loses the ability to use the fingers in a fine task, such as picking up coins of buttoning clothing. Vibration white finger is often not recognized as compensable as an occupational disease, although it may severely restrict the victim's employment opportunity. The whole period between beginning work with vibrating tools and onset of symptoms can be as short as several months. The extent of the problem in most industries using vibrating tools is not now. Other effects of segmental vibration include bone change, muscular weakness, and degenerative alteration, implementation of the tendons, bone cyst, and vascular change. Vibration effect depends on the body pals in the room. The vertical vibration in standing position is more harmful. The harmful vibration effect depends also on the level of air temperature and humidity. The vibration effect is increased in condition of low temperature and high relative humidity. When the instrument is heavy and produces vibration with big amplitude, its effect on the body is very harmful and may cause the trauma. The harmful effect of the vibration of the body also depends on the level of the temperature and relative humidity in the workshop. Type of vibration exposure and vibration effect, local and general. 
look. This is of the peripheral blood cir circulation, spasm of the capillaries and pale skin. This is of the peripheral nervous system function, hypersensitivity and severe pain in the hands, especially after washing with good water. General inflammation and deformation of the joints, bones, chronic headache, drowsiness, disorders of the movement. Common symptom, vibration, disease. The impact of vibration is not restricted to the application place and reflexively passed to the next level of the nervous system, affect the brain and spinal cord. The change in the central nervous system occurs mostly on the type of functional neurosis, asthenia. There has been a headache, fatigue, dizziness, irritability at women, tearfulness. All the symptoms may be more severe if the generalization, cardiovascular autonomy disorders at individuals may develop narrow circular vascular crisis. Vascular crisis may be played in the vessels of the brain. In this cause, the paroxysmal dizziness. The same type of violation can be from the coronary vessels. In this cause, the effect of angina. There are four stages of vibration disease. The initial stage, practically healthy people, make individual light displays in the form of reduced sensitivity. Skin temperature, change during capillaroscopy, minor reveal a tendency to spas. Several altered tropes of muscles of the shoulder elbow. At this stage, the process is completely reversible. Stage 2, a complex of symptoms. Persistent paresthesia, a significant reduction in skin temperature, sensitivity of the fingers, persistent spas of capillaries. At the muscular system, implementation of muscles regimen, at the activity of the central nervous system, after neurotic reaction. The process is completely reversible with complete cessation of work in the condition of vibration, the symptomatic treatment. Stage 3. Both of finger lashing, a symptom of deep fingers, changing paresis, capillaries, and sharp cyanosis. There may be both a cramps in hands, reduced sensitivity of the segmental type, indicating that lesion in the spinal cord. Stage 4 occurs in fear. Generalization of vascular process, violation tropism, until necrosis on the extreme. Preventive measures using the instrument with low frequency vibration, interval in work for 10 minutes every hour of work using the personal protection equipment, periodically analysis of the vibration frequency level in the work, using the show by workers after workday completion, the worker requirements in vitamin B1 are higher than daily requirements in about 50%, using UV rays lamps, especially in autumn and winter, periodical medical checkup of the worker, health, education. Laser. We stand for light amplification for by stimulated emission of radiation. Is light that has been synchronized such that the radiation is of one specific frequency and the light waves are all traveling in fast impulses. Today laser application in the industry, different science, agriculture, medicine, biology. Basic parameter of laser, wavelengths, intensity of irradiation, first time, first repetition frequency. Laser, visible light is one type of non-ionizing radiation. Damage caused by laser divided four category, harmless, low harmful, middle, and high. Harmless, on action on ice harmless. Low, the direct action laser, low, harmful. Influence of laser of human organism, local, direct on the eyes, local, 
direct on the skin and genital on the body. This delivers much larger energy directly to the eyes than normal light. Laser light of high energy can therefore be extremely damaging to the eyes and can even burn the skin or other materials. Also laser, light is an occasional hazard in occupational setting. The lack of sufficient lighting, particularly in the work environment, is a much more general problem. Poor lighting increases the risk of injuries in factories as well as on roads and increases eye strain in people who have to read or perform retention tasks in their work. Eye strain can lead to headache and various psychosomatic symptoms. The lighting needed for the fine task increases significantly with age because of the natural deterioration of eyesight with age. A 40-year-old person needs twice as much light as a 20-year-old person to see an object with the same clarity. However, because light consumes energy and this increased costs many factories and homes are poorly lit, especially in poor country. Local direct on the skin and general on the body. Laser influence skin, redness and maybe burns. Internal organ may stimulate central nervous system function, dysfunction of the blood vessels, sweating, exhausting, and unstable blood pressure. Preventive measures. Special protective eyeglasses applied. Protect the skin and the mucous membrane against the direct effect of laser. Control the sanitary condition of the air. Propose ventilation. Use protective screen. Use special glove, periodical medical, check up examination of the medical person. Chemical hazards at the workplace. Industrial toxicology is considered with the adverse effect on workers of substances handled in the workplace. Also, interest usually extends to adverse effect of products on consumers and the workplace influence on the public. Historical toxicology was the art and science of puzzle. It's today a discipline which makes use of information developed by a wide range of chemical, physical, biological, and medical science in order to predict the likely adverse effect on man of an ever-increasing range of substance to which he is exposed. Term toxicity is the innate ability of substance to injure living things. Hazard assessment is the prediction of the toxic effect that will be evident under defined condition of exposure. The toxic effect of a substance depends upon of physical form, dose, the route or entry, its absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion. Toxin is a substance which may cause common disease or injury. Approximately 10 million chemical compounds have been synthesized in laboratory since the beginning of the present century. About 1,000 of these chemicals are produced commercially and used directly. There is virtually no sector of human activity that does not use chemical products, and these products have indeed created many benefits for society, such as the treatment of disease with pharmaceutical products and the use of fertilizers to increase food production. All chemicals are toxic to some degree, with health risk being primary, a function of the severity of toxicity and the extent of exposure. However, most chemicals have not been adequately tested to determine their toxicity. It's important to distinguish hazard and risk from the term toxicity. A high toxic substance will damage an organism even if only very small amounts are present in the body. A substance of low toxicity will not produce an effect unless the concentration in the toxic tissue is sufficiently high. 
classification of chemical substances include first chemical action on a human organism plus of harmful chemical classification include inorganic chemicals organic element organic inorganic which contain non or very few carbon atoms organic which have a structure based on carbon atoms element organic chlorine mercury for example waste toxin enter and excretion from the body toxin enter the body through breathing system stomach skin excretion kidney intestine lung mammary gland the level of the biological effect of the chemical elements of the body depend chemical chemical structure or physical chemical character absolute velocity molecular weight specific gravity boiling point temperature dispersion aggregation the level of solubility in water and liquid action of a human organism by chemical substance causes neurotroph hepatotroph nephrotoxic cardiotoxic blood poisoning poisoning causing hypoxia and ataxia addictive action paratoxic effect metatoxic type of poison acute chronic on localization of a pathological process local general specific specific include mutagenic teratogenic and reproductive action to find out the class of harmful we need to find out the following indexes analysis usually provide in laboratory studying the influence on the laboratory animals cl50 middle deadly dosage concentration the quantity of which may cause a death of 50 percent of standard group of laboratory animals after poisoning second coefficient of inhaler poisoning three third zone of severe influence four zone chronic influence five limit of admissible concentration class of harmful toxicity first class cause atherosclerotic change in different internal organ as pneumosclerosis and neurosclerosis second class influence the nervous system and cause convulse with neuroparalytic effect and drug effect third class influence the blood depressed the function of the bone marrow third class cause irritation of the mucous membrane of the eyes upper pain of the breathing system and the skin and fifth class limit of admissible example occupational poison at the workplace inorganic substance halogens are element that form a sulfide direct union with a metal we include fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. At standard temperature and pressure, fluorine and chlorine bromine is a liquid and iodine solid. When placed in water, reaction yielding acid that irritated tissue. As individual elements and compounds, the halogens have inherent toxicity. The primary correlation of halogens is a respiratory tract irritation with the severity depending on concentration. Chlorinated and fluorinated hydrocarbons which the action of halogens with organic compounds. Corrosive material include alkaline compounds such as ammonia, calcium hydroxide, calcium oxide, potassium hydroxide, sodium carbonate and sodium hydroxide, among others. This causes corrosive local irritation of tissue such as the skin, eyes, and respiratory tract. This effect can also be caused by acids. Sulfuric acid and chromic acid are common industrial chemicals. Other compounds 
this corrosive or irritation effect include the common air pollutants, ozone and nitrogen oxides. Ozone is a very irritating to all mucous membrane. Eyes, nose, mouth, whereas nitrogen dioxide is a moderate irritant. Both can trigger asthma effect. Metal at the workplace. Metal such as cadmium, chromium, copper, lead, mercury, nickel, and arsenic are toxic and environmentally persistent. All this chromium, copper, and manganese are essential metal, in that they are required by living organisms. Both the environmental fate and the level of toxicity of metal depend strongly on the physical and chemical form. Mercury. Mercury is also an acidic hazard. However, it's much less common as an industrial pollutant than lead. It's inequity among metals being a liquid at room temperature and readily volatilizing into a gas. There are many organic compounds of mercury and this usually more toxic than the metal element itself. Exposure usually occurs through inhalation of mercurial vapor or inhalation of mercury-containing food, but mercury can also be absorbed across a wood or damaged skin. Historically, mercury was primarily an occupational hazard, associated with goldsmithing, mirror-making, explosive detonators, and the many uses of mercurial compounds as antiseptic and antifungal agents. The use of mercurial compounds as an antifungal treatment of seed intended for planting has caused severe outbreaks of mercurial poison, the most famous being in Iraq in 1972, in which hundreds of fatalities occurred among people who used treated seed to make bread. Industrial pollution with mercury was mostly on a small scale until the 1940, except for some mercury contamination of body or water from gold mining. However, industrial pollution on a large scale resulted when the chloralkali process was introduced in paper plants and production expanded during the post World War Second era. This has resulted in substantial mercury contamination in many bodies of water, particularly in the sediment where the mercury accumulates. However, the largest outbreak of mercury intoxication in history was the result of pollution from the vinyl chloride factory that used a mercury catalyst in its production process. This occurred in 1953 in Minamata Bay on the island of Kyushu, Japan, resulting in many deaths and a much greater number of individuals with permanent neurological impairment. Effluent from the factory caused methyl mercury contamination of fish which were eaten by village. Today, in most developing countries, mercury is primarily an occupational hazard in dental clinics. From the use of mercury containing amalgam for filling cavity, instrument manufacturing and repair, and smelting, some causes of mercury intoxication have occurred in bones. For example, where a space heater has been used with a broken mercury containing switch that was be seen to shut the heater off if it lipid hour. In some areas of the world, such as the Amazon, mercury pollution is on the rise. The gold was first discovered approximately three decades ago in Brazil. Thousands of improvements, Brazilians began to extract gold from a river sediment by mixing in mercury, as a liquid metal beans with the gold. The resulting amalgam is heated, causing the mercury to evaporate, leaving the gold behind. 
For this process, a large amount of mercury were released into the air as well as into the water. The effect of mercury on the body can take many forms, depending on the chemical form of mercury and the circumference of exposure. Metallic mercury can cause moth sores, extreme pain, and tenderness in the fingertips, tremor, and unusual pathological shins that result from damage to the brain. In the environment, metallic mercury is slowly converted to organic compounds of mercury. Methyl mercury compounds may cause severe nervous system damage, both to the brain and the peripheral nerves. This is associated with movement disorders, deteriorating handwriting, slurred speech, and visual abnormalities. The acute Pyozonic by mercury is very rare, usually chronic pyozonic as a result of influence of small concentration of mercury on the body for a long time. Clinical picture, acute person, headache, drowsiness, general weakness, abdominal pain, blood diarrhea, hypersecretion of sweet glands. Chronic person, motor weakness, spongy gums, abdominal colic, tremor, bleeding from the gums, mercury stomatite, weakness of the teeth, and hypersalivation. Next example, lead prozon. Lead is one of the oldest environmental hazards now to society. There are many sources of exposure to lead, with residents in urban areas tending to have lead levels that are higher than those in rural areas. This enters the body primary through the inhalation of tiny particles that contain it or through ingestion of food or beverage that contain it. Absorption of tetraethyl lead gasoline additive through the skin does occur, but such exposure have really caused lead poison. Petrol sniffing among youth in certain communities has caused significant poison problem. Lead remains a serious environmental hazard as well as a serious occupational health and safety problem. Lead was used long before the Industrial Revolution for making pips, pigments, and bolts because of its soft metal. It's easily worked and metals at a relatively low temperature. Industrial pollution by lead has been a particular problem in smelters. Primary lead smelters handle all the contains high concentration of lead. Other types of primary smelters may be associated with a risk of lead exposure because lead is often present in the ores of other metals. The most common time of point source of for industrial pollution by lead, however, has been secondary smelters where all lead batteries are torn apart, melted down, and resmelted. The secondary smelters are often located in populated areas and lead contamination of soil around when can be extensive. Industrial pollution from lead, however, is a more general problem because of leaded gasoline and lead containing paints for indoor application. Tetral ethyl lead additive was for many years a major contributor to environmental lead exposure in communities. Leaded gasoline has been withdrawn from the market in most countries and where it has the lead levels in the blood of children have decreased. Another major source of community exposure to lead has been house paint containing lead. Children who eat Lacking paint chips or who play on the floor where there is lead containing dust from disintegrating paint eye trees for lead puzzle. Currently, lead containing paints are usually restricted to heavy dirty outdoor painting of steel bridges and other non residential structures. However, paint stains of buildings for a very long time and a patent building older than 30 years may still have lead paint.
another important source of lead exposure was lead based glasses on pottery. Compensatory production of pottery with lead glasses has stopped in most of the world, but the problem is still seen occasionally when a lead glass is used by an amateur or when a decorative piece not made for drinking is used as such. Small amounts of lead may also enter the body from the food cans or copper drinking water pips because salt that was used to seal them. Clinical picture lead poison. Heavy exposure to lead can result in lead poison, which is characterized by anemia, kidney damage, nerve damage, and partial paralysis of certain muscles groups and brain damage. The symptoms of acute lead poison are colically pain in the abdomen, nausea, and weight losses. The effect of lead exposure that cause the greatest concern are those of children. Low levels of lead exposure may cause irreversible brain damage that takes the form of learning disability and reduce intellectual capacity. In some time may cause cancer. Next example, zinc poison. Zinc, used in manufacture of alloys as a component of brass in batteries and paint. Zinc absorbed by inhalation through gastrointestinal tract and injured skin. Clinical picture, acute zinc poison, vomiting, diarrhea, fever, muscle pain, renal dysfunction, sweating, joint pains. Chronic poison, dysfunction of the liver, anemia, papal follicles. Benzol poison. Benzol is a high toxic element with this specific odor. Boiling temperature 80.1 degree. Usually benzol used in lascar pain production, different chemical process, pharmacological, machines building, and textile industries. Benzol enters the body through respiratory system, skin, after the effect, the central nervous system, narcotic effect, blood system, and the irritation readiness analysis. Clinical picture acute benzol poison, headache, drowsiness, general weakness, and maybe an concrescence, depend on the concentration of the benzol. Chronic damage and dysfunction of the leukocyte function, leukopenia, headache, loss of appetite, general weakness, drowsiness, hemorrhagic epigastrix, and others. Preventive measures of chemical poison at the workplace. To forbid children up to 70 years, pregnant and mothers of baby with natural feeding to work in this type of factory. Prohibit anyone with anemia, liver and kidney disease, peptic ulcer and disease of nervous system to work in this factory. Provide regular medical checkup of worker. Minimizing environmental pollution, proper ventilation, periodically measuring the level of chemical against in the air or workplace, use of protection instrument and special cloth, regular finding out the class of dangerous of chemical again, health education. Air working area has mechanical property which depend on the solid particles like dust. Dust is the most widespread harmful factor in industrial area, is in factory for building material, also as a result of boarding and reading in means, machine building, metallurgy, and cement factory. Dust classification, chemical structure, ways of formation, dispersion, conversion degree, dust lesion. Kind of dust, natural, for example, sea, cosmic, volcanic, and artificial. For example, dual composition. Chemical structure, organic. For example, natural dust, wood, woolen, artificial, plastic, rubber dust, inorganic, mineral dust. For example, cement, quartz dust, metallic, zinc, iron, 
and third group mixed the dust formed in chemical industry. Ways of formation. The integration aerosol is formed in mechanical crushing of solid substances. Condensation aerosol is formed at thermal process fusion. Dispersion, visible dust, dust particles more than 10 micron, microscopical particles dust from 0.2 to 10 micron, and ultramicroscopically less than 0.2 micron. Dust lesion, specific pneumoconiosis, allergic disease, and non specific. Bronchitis, trachitis, pneumonia, conjunctivitis, dermatitis. The solid substance suspended in atmosphere air. It does all natural and artificial cause. The natural dust is forlorn, cosmic, on the ground from space a quantity of 10 particles which are not having particle value settles. Volcanic sea is formed as a result of drying spray of salty water at excitement of the sea also has no particular value. Forest fires and soil have the greatest hygienic meaning. The natural dust consists of a soil dust. It rises in air from a surface of ground as a result of movement air streams. This is promoted especially by movement of means of transport and a plant dust. The 70-80% of soil dust Overpopulated areas located in the desert and semi desert are mineral composts with a high concentration of the free silicon dioxide. But the change of silicosis causes the cylinder. The plant dust is a pollen of flow overing plants, mushroom spores, and bacteria. The dust of artificial origin gets into air variety in the form of ashes and carbon black. The dust can have direct and indirect adverse effect on the people. Indirect effect of dust in atmosphere consists in reduction of intensity of sun radiation and in formation of overcoats and fogs. It results in decrease of natural daylight over premises and is consequent in short sightedness and rachitis of children, osteoporosis of adults. Surveil of pathogenic microbes and environment. Direct effect of dust. Irritating, mechanical, carcinogenic, toxic, epidemiological, fibrogenesis, beam, allergic. It can be absorbed in adverse working environment. Change in the respiratory system and dust influence. The major function of a respiratory system it causes exchange between the external environment and the circulatory system. This involves taking in oxygen from the air to the blood and releasing carbon dioxide from the blood back into the air. Upon inhalation, gas exchange occurs at the alveoli, the 26 that are the basic functional component of the lungs. The alveol walls are extremely thin, approximately 0.2 micrometer. These walls are composed of a single layer of epithelial cells in close proximity to the blood capillarity, which is turn are composed of a single layer of endothelial cells. The close proximity of these two cell types allows permeability to gases and hence gas exchange. Oxygen is taken into the blood, there is excess carbon dioxide is released. Despite the efficiency, large volume of particulate can overwhelm this defense mechanism. Irritation caused by gases and germs produce inflammation or respiratory tract, and the symptom can to be acute or delayed depending on the solubility of the toxic agent. They can also be chronic effect. Chronic effect from prolonged exposure may be chronic bronchitis and permanent lung damage. Allergic reaction to substance can cause occupational 
asthma. Pneumoconiosis is the reaction of the lungs to inherit mineral dust as a result of alteration in the structure. The major causes are coal dust, silica, and asbestos, and they all lead to scarring of the lungs now as collagenous fibrosis. Pneumoconiosis may not produce any symptom for air, for air as the lung become less visible and porous, their function is greatly reduced. The symptoms include shortness of breath, cough, and general feeling. The shortness of breath usually begins early with severe excretion. As the disease progresses, shortness of breath may be present all of the time. The cough initially is not associated with sputum, but may eventually be associated with coughing up blood, due to poor oxygenation of the blood by the damaged lungs, the nails and leaves may appear pale or bluish. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease refers to chronic bronchitis and emphysema. There are two lung diseases which often occur together and result in the airways becoming narrowed. This leads to elimination of the flow of air to and from the lungs causing shortness of breath. Unlike occupational asthma, the narrowing of the airways is not easy to reverse and usually gets progressively worse over time. Chronic pulmonary obstru obstructive disorders can be triggered by a wide range of particles and gases which cause the body to produce an abnormal inflammation of the issue. Malignant tumors of industrial origin can affect the lung and surrounding tissue. Lung cancer has been discovered in people working with asbestos. Chromium pigment manufacturers, polyclic aromatic hydrocarbon, coal gas manufacturers, tar workers, and ionizing radiation, uranium miners, wood dust, Head wood, furniture makers, and others. Dust pollution flow out into the air by power system as the quantity of the last constant growth has the greatest practical value. Thus, the role of the industrial enterprises and house heating system can vary depending on local condition. In some places, the leading role take play the industrial enterprises. In another play house heating system, but as a while the industrial enterprises are the leaders. All the debt received from many countries is met that with development of the industry, the amount of the pollution acting in air proportionally increase. Especially many fan pollution act in air at burning fan jewel. Thus, in air uh, through out ashes. Suit. Ashes represent as non flammable impurity to coal, which contains it can vary from 6 12% high grade coal up to 35 36% lower grade. And the burning represents not burnt down particles of coal, which quantity depends on the degree of aeration of power installation. What is important in the hygienic practice of dust dispersion? Particles larger than 10 micrometer. Large particles that enter respiratory system can be trapped by the hairs and leaning of the nose. Once captured, they can be driven out by a cough or sneeze. Small particles that may enter the tracheobronchial system can be captured by mucous work back to be trod by tiny hair-like cilia and removed by swallowing or spitting. Particularly smaller than 10 micrometer. These particles may make an interlevel, but depending on their size, they may or may not be deposited there. Some particles are so small that they tend to follow the airstream into the lungs and then right back out again. 
particles truly between 0.5 and 10 micrometer may be large enough to be deposited in the lungs by sedimentation. Sedimentation is most effective for particles between 2 and 4 micrometer. Particles no less than 10 micrometer are most important from due of adverse health effect on humor. High particle concentration in the atmosphere, especially in conjunction with oxidase of sulfur, respiratory infection, cardiac disorders, bronchitis, asthma, pneumonia. Some particles are toxic. Many carbonous particles, especially those containing politically aromatic hydrocarbons, are suspected carcinogens. Particulate emissions have decreased substantially in the past few decades due to tremendous reduction in combustion emission, especially by electric utility. Character of dust effect on organism is diverse and depends on dust properties and especially on chemical structure. The dust particles of some chemical substance have a strong toxicity and get into organism they can cause person. This kind of dust are dust of beryllium, vanadium, cadmium oxides, lead, thorium. The dust which has not max toxicity can bring to development of chronic non-specific disease of the lung. This effect is revealed in product reaction with development of connective tissue, pneumoconiosis, and also bronchitis, trachea, pneumonia, conjunctivitis of dust etiology. Classification of pneumoconiosis disease caused by mineral dust, silicosis, silicatosis, caused by metallic dust, sideroses, bilirosis, caused by coal dust, anthracosis, graphitosis, caused by organic dust, buzinosis, caused by mixed dust, silica asbestosis, silica anthracosis, and other. Some kind of dust causes granulomatosis process, beryllium dust, in lungs and other organs. Anthracosis caused by inhalation of coal dust. The other kind cause allergic disease, for example, a full dust and plant dust. Crystalline silica. Crystalline silica or quartz is the most widely occurring of all minerals and is found in most rocks. The most commonly occurring form of silica is the sand found on beach through the wet. In the dry form, fine crystalline silica constitutes a toxic hazard since its inhalation as airborne dust could give risk to silicosis. Silicosis is a pulmonary fibrosis which is regarded as the most common and severe of all pneumoconiosis. The risk of developing the disease depends on three factors, namely dust concentration in the atmosphere, the percentage of free silica in the dust, and the duration of exposure. Silica is encountered during many processes which use minerals, wiring and mining, rig, steel, and the refractory manufacture. Glass manufacture. At the beginning of this century, fatal causes of silicosis with a rapid evolution period one free year, were not uncommon among workers who inhaled enormous amounts of dust containing a high quartz content. In many instances, this was due to the superreposition of tuberculosis. With the introduction of improved wetting condition and modern method of dust control, this rapidly evolving form of silicosis has virtually disappeared but has been replaced instead by the very slow development, 15, 30 year form of the disease. The initial stage of silicosis are asymptomatic and are early revealed by periodic radiological examination of worker exposed to free silica. The first symptom of silicosis are loss of breath on expression. 
in the serious cause of the symptom occur even on very slight excursion or when the patient is at test. As a rule, there are no another subjective symptom. Thus, the diagnosis of serious causes is largely by clinical examination and radiology. Clinical picture, serious causes disease. First stage, chest pain, dyspnea, after physical activity and dry cough. Second stage, dyspnea, chest pain, wet cough, and sinks of emphysema. Third stage, dyspnea, and decrease of lung capacity, chest, ring and show multiple fibrosis formation. Preventive measures of dust pollution. Technological, sanitary, medical prophylactic. Technological, include use of new technology, sanitary, hermetic sealing of the equipment, ventilation, use of personal protective facility, for example, respirator, dust protection, coveralls, glasses. Medical prophylactic methods preventive include carrying out of medical examination of worker, UV radiation in photari, alkaline inhalation, diet, and vitamin. Today, most of the world country are developing country and most of the poverty in rural. Biological hazards include all of the forms of life that can cause adverse health effect. Biological hazards divided into groups, natural, anthropogenic, anthropogenic, zoonotic, industrial, antibiotic, means of protection plants, facilitators of growing, vaccines, and others. These hazards are plants, insects, rodents and other animals, fungi, bacterial, viruses, and a wide variety of toxin and allergen. A recently discovered type of biological hazard has been called prion, disease-producing protein particle, which have been related to a number of diseases, including crossfit jackal, mad cow disease. The ways of enter biological factor in the organism. Infected all the clothes, dirty hands, dirty dishes, contact with sick animal, transmissible waste through insect, iron, gaming. Environmental health is largely determined by the health effect of exposure to microorganisms and parasites. This occurrence and spreading depend on environmental factors. The biological factors that play a role in the life cycle of organism are discussed below. Hazards associated with larger species will be treated as an issue of physical safety or as a hazard in transmitted infection. Microorganisms of concern in environmental health include bacteria, viruses, and protozoa, such as amoebas. Most microorganisms and parasites that cause Human illness need to grow inside the human body to cause it harm. Bacteria and protozoa may live and multiply outside other living cells, and they can survive and multiply for long period in food, items, or water, as long as there are enough nutrients for them and the pH and temperature are within viability limits. Viruses, however, cannot multiply outside of other living cells, although some can survive for long period and remain infected. To sustain their life cycle, viruses need to enter in the human cells or the cells of an animal, insect, or plant. Many diseases caused by microorganisms are spread directly from one person to another. This disease considered Person-to-person -person environmental health hazard include tuberculosis and many infection childhood disease. The five major infection killer in the world are acute respiratory infection, diarrhea, tuberculosis, malaria, and measles. When a disease can spread from one person to another, it's called an infection or communicable 
disease. The spread can be direct by contact between two persons as happiness with sexually transmitted disease or it can be transmitted by air as with the common cold or tuberculosis. One infected person exhales the microorganism that causes the disease and another person inhales the contaminated air. The spread can also take place through vessels other than air in materials that have been contaminated by an infected person. Food contaminated with worms emits from another person. Infection with the human immunodeficient viruses or with the hepatitis B virus can occur from needs, thick injuries or blood contact and understandably is widely feared. Leptospirosis, a bacterial infection spread by contact with latrine, occurs in some occupations and is a risk in the sugarcane industry. Brucellosis is another disease is fans and slaughterhouse workers and is caused by contact with skull, pigs, and goats. Vectors, animal, animals or insects that carry the microorganism or parasite and infect a person via a bite. Malaria via mosquitoes can spread disease as well. Certain bacteria and parasites produce toxin that can cause disease through the pozone's action of the toxin rather than an infection. Much food poison is this type of bacteria produce toxin reaction. The difference between infection and toxic reaction is important. Disease that are caused by the toxin that bacteria produce are not contagious, but if they do not spread from person to person, but are limited to the people who consume the contaminated food. Thus, there is no subsequent risk to another people when the toxin causes the disease. Not least, the precautionary measure is taken to prevent both bacterial infection and bacterial toxin are similar. Many biological agents, viruses, bacteria, parasites, fungi, moods, and organic dust have been found to occur in occupational exposures. Type of work in relation to a biological factor. First, related to the microorganism. Production of biological preparation, using biological preparation for prophylactic and treatment of different diseases, using the microorganism for teaching and scientific work, work with water and soil, work in hospital. Second group, related to the animals. Either this work in rural area, slaughtering, meat processing. And third, related to the plants. Some 25 occupational groups are exposed to about 200 biological agents. An estimated 6.7% of the workforce in the Netherlands is exposed and 14-50% of the workforce in Finland may be exposed to various kinds of biological agents. Exposure to organic dust and allergic chemicals has been reported to the World Health Organization but reports of occupational asthma and other allergic responses are very due. Asthma comprises about 1% of occupational disease in the Czech Republic, in contrast to 4% in Finland, where the total for all allergic respiratory disease is 10%. Exposure to biological again or organic dust and the related health hazards are growing in many countries such as Germany and Sweden. The precise mechanism involved in the causation if diseases are often not fully known. An underlying immunological and or inflammatory reaction is usually involved. If exposure is not controlled, permanent incapacity to work soon follows the onset of disease. Preventive measures Influence of biological injurious factor as a worker organism include periodical medical checkup examination of worker organism, control the sanitary condition of the air, 
especially in workshop, disinfection method, using of individual protective clothes and instruments, health education. Attention.